Hey guys, all right, um, this is kind of vlog style. And as you can see, I was just crying a little bit. Just had a little bit of a breakdown in a car, like we all do at some point. Um, so I don't have my camera, so I'm just doing this on my phone. But I just like need to talk about something for one minute. Something that I'm wondering if any of you guys can um, relate to. <laughs> Being overweight is so... It's interesting because I feel like people can just... They think they can say anything to you about it all the time. Like, like you don't know. Like, you don't know you're overweight. Like, oh, I have no idea. I had no freaking idea. So, I don't know. It, it builds up after a while. So, I just this morning went to um, a dermatologist appointment. You know, a dermatologist, they're doctors for your skin. And we had a great appointment. I really liked her. She was a new dermatologist. And at the end, she was telling me, she was asking me if I could um, talk about something to my primary care doctor. And she was like, yeah, like, go ask her about that. Because it's a, it's a new dermat, it's a new primary care doctor that I'm going to be going to. And she was like, yeah, go talk to your primary care doctor about this. And she'll also be able to help you with your weight. And I'm just like... <laughs> You really had to add that on. Like, you, we had a, a great appointment. We found a remedy. And then at the end, you just had to go and ruin it and say, and she can help you with your weight. And I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. You're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Because you know what? It never gets old how people can just think they can always just say something about your weight. Always. Like, I have no idea. Like, it's not something I'm working on. Like, it's not something that I'm aware of. It just, it's, it's just such a weird thing to me. I, I just don't get it. Like, and I just felt so overwhelmed because I guess it's one thing because I hear it constantly, you know, not just on the internet, but it's something that I've dealt with, like, for my entire life. You know, like, I've always been bigger. I'm extremely aware of my body. I'm aware of my weight. I'm aware of, like my health trust me I'm aware of my health like believe it or not I actually have pretty good health for my weight because oh, that's a whole nother conversation and all other misconception but it just it never gets old like it, it just it's crazy that people think they can always just like why did she why like you really think I don't I don't know I don't get it like it's not like you don't hear that stuff all the time like my mom and I were talking about this and we were talking like because on the other opposite end of the spectrum perhaps if someone was in there like having a new appointment like me but they appeared to be anorexic or appeared to be struggling with a different type of eating disorder I'm in my car oh my gosh I'm at the post office and they were like very 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 thin would she at the end have said and that doctor can help you with your weight I just don't think so. I just don't think so. I just think it's, I think it's the fat thing. And I'm okay with reclaiming the word fat. Whatever. I'm fat. Skinny, fat, whatever. They're adjectives. But. I don't know. And I recently had this kind of big opportunity to do something on a really big platform. And. The platform, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but it was for, like, like a before and after, like, weight loss thing or, like, health journey or something. And I was just like, that's what you want me on on this big platform? Like, I've just, sometimes it just feels like you're only identified as, like, people only see you as fat. That's how it feels. Like, that's that's what gets so frustrating it's like okay you look at me and that's like that's the first thing you see and then then that's what you start to label me as and I'm I'm so much more than that like on that platform I was like okay well like I could have done something awesome like fashion for a curvier body or like you know a really cool winged liner on a hooded eye like something something else that I'm good at like I'm not just my weight and like for people to always just, like, feel like they can say something, like, you don't know, like, it's not, like, something you think about and something you're aware of, it's just, it's so rude, it's just, it's rude, and, like, sometimes these, like, little things, little things will happen and, like, trigger you, and then it all just b bundles up, <laughs> bundles up, bottles up, 
and like I left and I was just it was like the last thing she said so it just really like just hit me the wrong way and I was like why did you have to do that why did you have to just say that like so unnecessary like I'm aware it's something I work on and I don't need you to say it I'm not blind I don't know if this video is coming out right I was just talking to my mom about it on the phone and I was just trying to figure it out like how I could express this and I just feel like someone out there has to relate where it's just like you feel like it's always the top of conversation like when I was a kid you know it was always something that had to be talked about like I went to the gym with my grandma like three days a week four days a week when I was a kid like it's just it's always been a thing and sometimes you just not you just don't want to fucking hear it because you know it you, we're not dumb we're not ignorant to it we're not blind but other people think like oh well you know what maybe if I tell her to lose weight she'll do it oh it's really not that fucking simple and like shut up it just gets so old it just gets so old and sometimes you just don't want to hear it I don't know if anyone out there will relate to this I don't know if I'll even leave this video up but in this moment I'm just frustrated and like hoping someone out there can relate but you know, I have enough self-love and self-confidence in myself to just, like, shake it off. Because I always do. Because I know I'm more than that. And I know I'm actually pretty healthy. And I know I work on my weight. And I try to eat healthy. And I work out. And I do the best I can. I do. I don't know. I don't know. But, like always, I'll shake it off. And I remember my self-worth. And just because like strangers think they can tell you that you're fat and you should lose weight like shouldn't affect your self-worth and self-love because people are just like rude and ignorant so sorry this video is kind of sad I just felt like I needed to talk about it let me know if you can relate